Hi friends today i will teach you regarding the malignant phyllode tumor so let's start the discussion of the phyllode tumor so what is the phyllode tumor as you already know like that of fibroadenoma it is the stromal tumor of the breast uh, like that of fibroadenoma there is a presence of benign glandular elements as well as a uh, stromal element so it's the bimodal tumor the glands as well as stroma hypercellularity is seen but uh, in the phyllode tumor particularly stromal hypercellularity is the main feature as compared to glands uh, the stroma is very hypercellular uh, that's why that tumor is called as a phyllode tumor uh, this was a well circumscribed 15 cm size growth was received in the breast and the phyllode tumor can be divided into benign borderline and malignant based on the nuclear etpia feature uh, based on the mitoses necrosis like that of features uh, in the malignant phyllode tumor there is a presence of greater than 10 mitoses per 10 high power fields and obviously there is a presence of marked nuclear pleomorphism uh, marked etpia is seen and the stromal and the stromal hypercellularity is obviously present so this was the case of malignant phyloid uh, you can able to see that uh, stroma is very hypercellular uh, this all are spindle sap stromal cells uh, that was hypercellular and you can able to see the features of atp i like that of uh, high nc ratio nuclear pleomorphism hyperchromasia like that of features so in short we can say that uh, stroma is sarcomatous the stroma is sarcomatous so such a sarcomatous stroma can resemble like that of uh, malignant fibrous histiocytoma or fibrosarcoma so it can mimic like that of mfh or fibrosarcoma that comes under the differential diagnosis and it is written in the book that uh, in the malignant phyllode tumor uh, there can be sarcomatous stroma that can resemble like that of fibrosarcoma mfh liposarcoma or osteosarcoma but in fact it's a variant of phyllode tumor malignant phyllode in our case there was presence of marked nuclear pleomorphism in pleomorphism and atypia you can able to see in the high power view and there was obviously presence of greater than 10 mitoses as well uh, there was also presence of uh, necrotic foci as well uh, that is not seen in this section but uh, it was present and the one more important feature is that uh, it has metastasized to lymph node we have received the lymph node as well so you can able to see the sarcomatous stroma this is the phyllode cells uh, that was metastasized in lymph node uh, this was the lymph node in fact the capsule is not seen but you can able to make out the lymphoid cells so this was a lymph node that was invaded by the malignant phyllode cells Uh, that's why we have labeled this case as an malignant phyllode tumor uh, the other differential diagnosis you have to you have to think is metaplastic carcinoma of the breast but in metaplastic carcinoma of the breast there is a presence of uh, pleomorphism like uh, like atypical features in the glandular elements as well in our case glandular elements were totally benign and in the in the metaplastic carcinoma there is also presence of some squamous metaplasia spindle like cells and different variations are seen so we were not convinced to give the diagnosis of metaplastic carcinoma and one important point is that uh, this case was erpr positive in metaplastic carcinoma it's negative so that was our diagnosis that was interesting case and our diagnosis was malignant phyllode tumor hope my video will be beneficial to you if you like my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you very much